I'm in the middle of making these large coffee scoops and I ran into an issue trying to sand this internal part. Because I did want this inside corner to have a more round shape, I used a, a top bearing round nose bit to achieve that. And the issue wasn't with the, the round shape of that, that corner. It was more the, the transition from flat bottom to, the, to that corner. It actually, there's a little ridge along there and some of them are not so bad but some of them are have a pretty big ridge so i needed something to to take care of that and i could hand sand that but that would i've got 14 of these so hand sanding that would literally take me forever and looking around i wasn't able to find exactly what i wanted so i, I settled on this cheap little pneumatic sander i started with the one inch pad but when you when i was using it the the silver portion hits the edge of the scoop just a little bit before the the pad does. So it wasn't able to reach exactly what I needed it to sand. So that didn't work for me. And then I tried, it also comes with a two inch pad, but when I was using that, the two inch pad, because this is a two inch hole on these scoops, the two inch pad fits exactly in there. So if I were to turn that on, that orbital pattern, of the sander would just shake the scoop all over the place. It wouldn't actually do the sanding it needed to do. So this tool actually didn't work for me. I mean, it works for something like if you're gonna sand the inside of something like this, a large surface, but for this application I needed, it didn't really work for me. So I came up with these little cheap disposable, super cheap, super simple to make disposable sanding pads so I'll, I'll go ahead and show how i made these and then my thoughts on them after
right, these are done. I made a whole bunch of these just because they are kind of disposable because I am using adhesive backed sandpaper. It does tend to tear off a little bit of that cork when you remove it. And if you're sanding really aggressively and that paper does slip off, the sides will catch whatever you're sanding and that'll cause some of that cork to rip off as well. While I really do like this design and it saves me a bunch of time sanding, it does have a couple downsides. The first being I have to use a lot of this sandpaper, like cut a lot of these circles. And that might be because I'm using old sandpaper and this adhesive isn't that great, but it tends to slip off after a while. So I have to just pitch it. And the other issue that I see is because I cut this paper a little bit larger to, to wrap around those edges so it stays on there better, it does have the potential if you're sanding kind of aggressive to leave a high spot in the middle because those edges hit a little bit before the center of the pad does. So you just kind of, I think you got to watch how you're sanding so you don't create a, a high spot. And that's easily fixed with that other sander that I have because that'll that'll get that middle real good. But if you don't have that, I'd just be, be careful. And then another thing that I noticed is when using this, because it is wood and not metal when you go to chuck this in the drill, if you don't have a, a deep enough bite and it's, it's kind of shallow, it'll just end up ripping those wood fibers instead of spinning this whole entire thing. There's the results on that. That was just two pads. That took me no time at all to do that. And it actually didn't even have a, a raised middle, so that worked out perfect. All right, lastly, if you can think of a better way to sand this internal surface, or if you know of a, a tool that you think could do the job better, if you could put that down in the comments, I would, I would really appreciate that. I love getting new insights as far as ways in which I could do things more efficiently, especially with sanding, because it does take so long.